Confederate imagery is a part of the national conversation in the wake of violence of the white supremacy rally in Charlottesville. And NASCAR was in the middle of it all at Bristol Motor Speedway this weekend. In the campgrounds, Confederate flags continue to fly from recreational vehicles above tents. Fans at the event described how the flag has different meanings for different people and how it's a part of their heritage because their relatives fought under it. So NASCAR fans say the Confederate flag is still an important symbol. On that note, we bring in our friend Will Kane. Good to see you, Will. You as well. Hi, guys. What's up, man? What's going on, bro? Hope you guys have. Will? You guys get to cool down a little bit over the weekend. Hope your tempers <laughs> got your tempers under control. Hope you are just you are definitely in a comedic mood because we all know who lost our temper, who lost their temper Friday. We all know that. We can admit well, certain ahead. things about ourselves. This is you true. Oh. <laughs> it's all right, bro. It's never personal on this show. It's, it's, we're just, it's all we're just right. We got it up. We, we got your back, Will. It's all right, bro. Let's go. It was good TV. Let's get into it. Yes, so you right. grew up in the yeah. South. What's your reaction to this? I mean, I guess I grew up in the South. I grew up in Texas, and okay. there's always that's. Is that I think, not considered really the South when you're from the South? Well, it's worthy of its own debate. Okay. Um, but for that matter, Texas was part of the 13 states that seceded mm -hmm. from the nation. Um, Here's what I know when it comes to the Confederate flag. Some of what you wrote and some of what we heard from those NASCAR fans that still fly the flag is simply true. Now, I try to listen to everyone. And if you really ever listen to what I say, and I do trust that both of you guys do, I think what I always ask for is just to judge human beings as individuals. So, Stephen A., when you and I have had conversations about the meaning of the Confederate flag to African Americans, mm -hmm. I hear you. And not only do I hear you, I understand it to be true. When an African-American sees the Confederate flag and sees racism, sees hatred, I understand that. And I also don't think that's wrong. I wouldn't be somewhere and say, no, 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 Stephen A. You're seeing the wrong things in that. Never would I say that. I think you have plenty of historical evidence plus emotional centering to know that is something that is real for you. I also know that some horrendous human beings in this world co-opt that flag and use it and threaten, in my mind, to completely and utterly define the meaning of it. As we saw in Charlottesville, what is it now, two weeks ago, the Confederate flag standing right next to the swastika flag is essentially beginning to define it. Those horrendous human beings drowned out any other potential meaning someone can assign for it. But when you hear the people at a NASCAR infield say a certain thing, all I'm here to tell you is this. Those human beings as individuals can mean what they say as well. And that is the Confederate flag means something beyond, perhaps completely apart from racism or its racist history. It can mean something as broad and simple, but as profound as the concept of home. Home is a concept that any poet, any philosopher knows is deep at the core of pretty much all of us, all human beings. And that symbol, that flag, has come to mean that for many. And they assign things to it often very benign. And all I say to you is this, hear that. Because it's not shorthand for the scarlet letter R. It's not shorthand for somebody in the NASCAR infield who is a racist. It can be. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying it's not always. And to treat these people as individuals, and finally I'll just leave you with this. When it comes to me as an individual, and I've said this to you both before in the past, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't wear it, I wouldn't fly it. And the reason why, despite the brand I'm probably building for myself on this program is, I do have some empathy. I do have some ability to hear what you say, Stephen A, and know that that is, whatever I may think of that flag, that is the perception that many others see and feel. And not only do I want to honor that feeling for you, I mean, again, despite how many of our debates come off, I don't want that perception of myself. I don't want someone thinking that even mistakenly about me because that's not who I am. So I wouldn't make that choice as an individual, but as so many of our debates go, Max, I cannot tell you, I cannot say that everyone that does it, you should, ind you should indict as an individual.